Hello everybody, State7 here. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this realistic car reflections inside Adobe Photoshop. If you are new to the channel please consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below, it helps the video to get ranked. Let's get started. I've got a simple setup right here. I have every component on its own group, so you guys don't get intimidated but it's nothing special. I painted the shadows manually using a soft round brush. I downloaded the car image from a PNG images website, so I don't waste time cutting out the car from the background. I'll try to link some useful PNG websites in the description. For the lens flares I'm using my lens flares pack, it's a pack of 30 flare images, if you want to grab it the link will be in the description. And some color correction on top. Here I have a picture of some grunge texture that we will be using to emulate the texture of the background. You can get it for free, the link is in the description. Select the texture image, go to the upper right corner. Click and hold down Ctrl Shift to change the perspective. Do the same thing to the rest of the corners, until you get the perspective right. Drag the texture image below the car. And let's put it on a separate group. Add a new layer below the texture. Fill it with black. I'm gonna hide the car for the moment. Select both the texture and the black layer holding down shift, right click and select merge layers. Duplicate the car layer using the shortcut Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac. Drag the duplicate layer on top of the texture layer. Now, use the lasso tool to select the right portion of the car. Let's put the selected area on its own layer using the shortcut Ctrl J. Do the same thing to isolate the other portion of the car. So now we have each side on its own layer. Select the right portion of the car and hold Ctrl T to access the free transform tools. Right click and select flip vertical. Move it down. Ctrl click on the side of the bounding box to skew the layer, and match it with what real reflections would look like. Change the opacity to 50% so it's easier to work with. Do the same thing with the other portion. And bring back the opacity to 100%. Add a new layer below the reflection layers. This will be for the underground of the car. Using the polygonal lasso tool, we will draw a rough shape of the car underground. Fill it with a dark shade color from the car. Now, let's select all three layers holding downshift, and merge them to a single layer. Then convert the layer to a smart object. We are going to add a couple of filters. First let's add Gaussian Blur, with a radius of 3 pixels. Then let's add Motion Blur. The angle is 90 degrees, and the distance is 20 pixels. Let's add another instance of motion blur. But this time with a distance of 70 pixels. Move down the layer slightly. Select the grunge texture layer. Select all using the shortcut Ctrl A. Copy the image using the shortcut Ctrl C. Hide the layer. Go to the reflection layer. Add a layer mask using the mask icon in the bottom right. Go to mask mode by holding down Alt and clicking on the mask thumbnail. Now hit Ctrl V to paste the image. Go back to normal mode by holding down Alt and clicking on the layer thumbnail. Now the grunge texture is inside the mask of the reflection layer. This will give the illusion of a rough ground texture. You can reduce the opacity of the reflection a little bit. You can also boost the contrast of the texture inside the mask using curves. Or even invert the mask using the shortcut Ctrl I to get a different look. It's up to you.
and because we made everything on its own layer, we can change the color of the background easily through hue and saturation adjustment layer. This is it guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. If you enjoy the content please consider subscribing and sharing this content with your friends. Liking and commenting is much appreciated. This will encourage me to make more tutorials for you guys. See you next time.